structural analysis to chapter eight deflections using energy methods another example in beams so in this example we have a, a triangular distribu load distribution with the amount of 12 k kilonewton hour meter the intensity is 12 kilonewton and over a two simple support we, we want to calculate the deflection at, at its center let's see how we can solve this problem So we want to determine this C and center. Let's see how we can solve this problem. So if we have a triangular load distribution over a two simple over a two simple support beam like what you can see over here you can easily divide it in two section let's do it this way you can just assume that we have a distribution like a rectangular distribution of W over two all over the B. And then we need to subtract this part from the original. So we can add and add this part. So we need to subtract this part a negative from A to C to the center and add this part. So this is a so the second part, the second beam would be something like a these are the arrows for so it means we are subtracting because at the for example at A, if this is W2, this is also W2 in other direction just says there is no nothing at here as soon as you move to the center it, it increases so there is center here is zero and this is w2 h2 w2 center so we can simply divide all shape to a uniformly distributed load of W over 2 plus the second beam is the same beam in this distribution. So as soon as we have uh, this configuration, the solution of that is pretty simple. So at the center. So the point is from the previous examples and also mechanics of solids by area or in method of deflection or also virtual work method we can easily understand that for a two simple support beam with a distributed load of w that's 5 w l to the force over 84 ei i will provide you with the link to see how you can calculate this numeric value and if you just replace your numeric value of everything remains the same but thing is change of w to w over 2 and that that gives us the deflection at the center of the first beam this is first beam plus second beam is the total deflection and for this kind of distribution you can easily see there is no deflection delta and center is simply delta at c is equal to zero why is that because you can easily see the effect of whatever you load in the positive direction it will cancel out and the compromise between these two tensile and compression push, push is it at the center due to the symmetry due to symmetry of the shape so that's why we have no delta at here so delta maximum 
Let's make it a bit cleaner. That's five times a power law is by W Q L to the force over 384 plus delta maximum at C for the second figure. This is the first one. This is the second one, which is zero. And if you add them up together, it just project this one, and that's five delta max at the center is equal to five W L to the force over 600. 768 e times moment of energy of the section so the same configuration if you have it like with rich value solve the problem like parametric at first then replace our numeric value with the distance the intensity if you remember the problem statement it just gives us 12 kilonewton over meter intensity of the load and the span length of this the span is 12 meters so the first 12 is this one and the second one is the length or 768 ei if you replace that it just gives you 16 20 wl to the force over but thank you we'll solve more